all right peeps i don't speak like that sorry hello uh welcome back to morsels and motors um and today we're going to be doing a little bit of metro fettling uh just a few little jobs so you can come along for the ride so today was meant to be a momentous day where the exhaust was fitted uh, uh this is a genuine new old stock unipart exhaust that i had shipped to me from greece it took flipping ages to arrive um, no, the exhausts don't seem to exist in the UK. Anyway, I went to get it uh, fitted this morning at my usual exhaust fitting place and of course they didn't have the small enough clamps uh, to clamp the manifold uh, in place. So I've had to go home and find them on eBay. Uh, this is the current exhaust on the car, uh, which, yeah, is a little foobard. Uh, the middle box is no better uh, and so what I need to do is uh, fix a blow that has now appeared in the middle or front silencer. The other thing I uh, need to do is uh, there's a, a bit of a knock coming from this uh, left hand front wheel. I think it's the new damper that I fitted um, I just needs tightening up a little bit. I think it's just loosened a little bit. Perhaps I didn't tighten it enough. So uh, I think the first thing I need to do then is jack up this front left corner of the car, which will then give me a chance to get the wheel off and also I can get access to that front silencer. Right, first task is just get this hubcap off. Boing. Right, these wheel nuts are 17 because they're replacement ones that I got. Uh, if you remember, the um, wheels only had two wheel nuts on most of them so I bought a set of ones off eBay and they are not imperial so that's the only metric thing there is on this car. Right that's loosened those let's get the car jacked up. Jack's in position on one of the uh, cross members underneath the car. wheel underneath the sill as a uh, lifesaver. Yes I know I should use access downs. If you do it at home use access downs. Don't follow what I do. But this jack's fine. And I taking the handle off so there's no way that I can release it accidentally. So uh, and I'm not really going underneath the car. So let's have a look at the um, this uh, damper or shock absorber whatever it's called um and yeah i think there's a little bit of movement here very slightly so i think i just need to tighten that nut up a bit um i think that might be what's causing the knocking let's have a look at the top nut as well uh this is that difficult top nut a little bit like the difficult second album uh which is hiding underneath the um water tank i can't really see it i'll take the water tank off maybe um but I'll try tightening that lower nut first and that might be all that's needed. Working with Imperial tools is a little bit like a maths lesson every single time. I'm trying to remember whether 9 sixteenths is bigger than 5 8. It takes me a little moment to try and figure the bloody hell out. Now I need to try and find 11 sixteenths. Oh yeah, that could, that did tighten a little more. Maybe it needs a bit of Loctite on it to stop it moving or thread lock. I think it might have been originally a nylock nut, but that it's now worn itself out. Hum. Now I'm going to do one more turn and to call it a day. Okay, I don't think it could go any tighter than that. That'll have to do. Um, so we'll see if it loosens itself again. I mean, still some movement there to be honest so I'm not sure that's actually solved very much well we'll see if it knocks still okay so I decided to take the uh, water tank off there's a top nut it looks a little bit rusty um, must have collected water when the when it rained in there and so the new metal here the new collar has rusted a bit 
But anyway, I might just give it a couple of twists on the spanner just to, to tighten that up as well, just in case that's what's causing the uh, knock. Right, doing these are an absolute PITA because the um, you have to use a tiny little spanner to hold it steady on the flats towards the top and then the ring spanner lower down. Oh, don't do that. Stay, stay. I'm gonna ring spanner lower down just to actually do the tightening. Let's see what I can manage. Okay, that'll do. Let's see if that's any better. And we next road test the car. Just need to put this uh, washer or fluid bottle, expansion tank, that's what it's called, back in place. This back one is one of these delightful sorts of screws that are impossible to get at. A little bit of contortion. Which actually, having worked on the Metro, is quite rare, to be fair. But there are things. It's very rare on the Metro to have poor access to something, so I'll forgive it one little screw. There. Back in place, done. Right, let's have a look at this exhaust blow. Oh, there it is. At the front of it. Where I've already patched it up once. Let's uh, patch it up again, shall we? Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see now the actual hole that's in there. I've cleared away some of the old exhaust putty. So there's a hole just in the kind of front bit, and I think there's a little tiny hole in that joint as well. So I'll fill those with exhaust putty. Um, I can't actually film myself doing that because I need two hands really. And uh, also, your hands get covered in exhaust putty, which is not very um, good to also cover a nice iPhone with it. So, skip to the good bit. Okay, so putty in place. Hopefully you can see there, it's over the hole that was there in the bottomy bit and over the tiny little hole that was where the join is. So, let's start it and see. already. Just need a bit more choke than that. That's better. Better but not perfect. Um, I want to turn the camera off. I could feel there's a blow from, from here, from that already repaired hole, so I shall repair that again now as well. Right, take two. Right, so I have also, I've also got uh, sounding a lot healthier without that little burble of exhaust so I think that is job jobbed. I'm just letting it idle uh, for a few more minutes just to let that exhaust putty fully cure uh, and whilst that's happening I'm going to just put the uh, wheel back on properly. Mechanical job's done for the day, so let's give this little munchkin a pre-show wash. Right, I think that's looking a little bit more presentable for the show tomorrow. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just a little play around with the Metro. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of me playing with all of these uh, and some other cars hopefully as well in the future. 
Uh, but for now, take care. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.